Wednesday, April 20th, 2022. Well, well, we're back out here again. And uh, the scenery is not uh, your typical uh, starting scenery. We get to uh, walk the uh, sidewalk for a little bit here along the side of the lake. And then um, I'll be crossing over the dam. So a little bit of road walk. And then uh, officially entering the Smokies. I've got my permit in my hip pouch, ready to submit. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Feeling pretty good to start the morning off. Looking forward to getting back out there. The Great Smoky Mountains National Park. This place was a hot topic for the northbound hiker community, as you never really knew what kind of weather you were going to get when you got there, and only had eight days to traverse the 70 mile stretch within the park. Oh, I see the box up there. I'm just like, where's the drop box for the permits? <clears throat> well, I just met Villain and Gryffindor. They're just doing a little day hike section of a, a trail that's uh, off the Bent Mackay. Nice guys. They took my photo by the sign, which is cool. Getting my first little glimpse of the tower up there. I don't know if you can even see it. I'm supposedly only like a mile and a half from there, but uh, the trail goes that way and probably up along the ridge there and then over. Whew. Slow going. I was hoping to be there by noon, which gives me 30 minutes to get there. Let's see if we can do it. So I'm leaving my pack down here and uh, going up to the tower. And I'll come back down for it because the trail technically kind of goes down and around this way. Uh, so I won't actually go through here, but it's such a nice day out. I'm sure the view from the top here is going to be awesome. Woo! Took that pack off though and I was all wobbly. It feels really, feels really heavy <laughs> from all the fresh resupply. So it'll get lighter, but right now it's definitely heavy and with all the uphill today, it's been slow going. I had finally sorted out my food situation and took the time to sit and eat lunch for the first time since day two. Cheese crackers and a packet of chicken instead of the usual on-the-go protein bar and peanut butter packet. After the initial big climb out of Fontana, things leveled out a bit. Relatively so considering the AT loves to go pointlessly up and down all the time. But thankfully the Smokies were going to be a little bit more forgiving terrain-wise. I end the 12 mile day at Molly's Ridge Shelter and chat with a couple of hikers while eating dinner. One named Dipper, after the character from Gravity Falls. We talked Survivor for a while. It was fun. I decided to give the shelter a try this night as it's really windy up on the ridge and thought the shelter would be warmer than my tent. 
I curl up in my sleeping bag cocoon and pray the mice don't pay me a visit in the night. Thursday, April 21st, 2022. I wake up to the persistent wind that never really went away all night and sit in the shelter after packing up to eat my breakfast. <laughs> then off I go for the day. <coughs> Gross. <laughs> Is I ready to start hiking this morning already? Do I want to hike today? Not really. <laughs> but sometimes you just get up and you hike because it's cold outside. It's windy at the shelter here on the ridge and you just kind of want to get out of it and go someplace where it's not so windy. So, hiking it is. Time to climb. I just finished having lunch for the day. Decided to stop off at the shelter that was a little over five miles into today's hike. It was only like 11.30 maybe. Um, and to be like kind of halfway done with the hike already for the day, it's just like, all right, I don't need to get camp like super early. So I might as well stop and have a break and relax for a bit. I just bumped into a gentleman named William. He says that he loves seeing the through hikers. He thinks that what we're doing is admirable. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, I'm just out here doing it. <laughs> Sometimes it feels admirable and sometimes it feels silly, but that's right. It is fun to, uh, you know, feel like you're kind of inspiring somebody else. Um, even if you don't feel inspired yourself in that moment. So, uh, yeah, it was a pleasant interaction. Nice guy. I feel like we're kind of in a high spot here. Should stop and kind of take a look. -sees. Oh yeah, how about that? This day was relatively uneventful, and I get to Derek's Knob Shelter after 12 miles and set up my tent for the night. I spend some time around the campfire chatting with the other hikers, most of whom I will continue to see from day to day as I trek on. The most eventful happening though was seeing Clementine again. It had been nearly two weeks since I had last seen her in Franklin, and had forgotten who she was until she had jogged my memory. I journal in my tent before going to sleep for the night. I feel as if I'm encountering more and more hikers who have started later than I did. It makes me wonder if I'm capable of pushing the miles I need to get to Damascus by trail days. I can't help but feel like a fraud out here sometimes. Maybe it'll get better. Good morning. It is Friday. <laughs> I think it's Friday. Yes, it's Friday. Who knows what day it is anymore. I am setting off for the morning. I'm hoping to hit mile 200 today on the high point at Clingman Stone. And yeah, then we'll be like half done with the Smokies already. So, be crazy. I was so heads down climbing up a little hill there. I didn't barely even see this guy over here. Good morning! After a quick stop on a hilltop to see if I had cell signal, I bumped into Dipper and hiked up to the next shelter, Siler's Bald, with him and stopped for a quick break and a snack. A ridge runner showed up and we chatted with her for a bit. 
then set off to the next shelter 1.7 miles away, which she said had better water access. At Double Spring Gap, I used the privy and filtered water. When I got done with filtering water, I noticed Dipper had already left. I grabbed my things and set off to catch him. So just over seven miles into the hike for the day, <clears throat> doing the last little kind of uphill section to the highest point on the Appalachian Trail, Clingman Stone. And I uh, got to a point where the foliage around me changed. Like just the scenery was different. It's so much more like green in here and like pine tree green and moss green. It feels kind of like being back in Washington. And I just missed it, recording it. There's like a jet that just flew by. I could hear it coming now. That was pretty cool. As I got closer to Clingman's Dome, I started to bump into more day hikers. A man taking pictures stopped as I passed by and told me I had about 30 minutes to go. Finally, I spotted the Clingman Dome Tower and a sign indicating only 0.4 miles to go. My pace quickened as my excitement grew. I finally hit pavement and was startled into a general public reality of families with crying babies and women wearing day shoes and shirts that read, women are drinking again. Kind of a madhouse up here. Yeah, I was just like, Jesus, I could see all the people from like <laughs> half a mile out. At the top of the paved walkway, I found Dipper sitting on a ledge. I set my pack with him and set off to the top of the tower. It is quite amazing how easy it is to walk without the pack on. I'm just like, going up this, whatever. <laughs> The amount of people made it difficult to enjoy the view, but it was pretty cool still. I came back down and joined Dipper on the ledge and watched the hordes of people as they walked by. Dipper and I were joined by Wandering Wizard and Lambo Turtle, and we set off to camp. Dipper and I quickly made our way downhill and chatted on our way to Mount Collins Shelter. Set up camp and chatted with Lambo Turtle while making dinner. While waiting for my water to boil, I was greeted by Flamethrower, who arrived at camp. I had not seen him since my first day at Fontana, and it was good to see a familiar face. Shorter downhill day into town tomorrow was my first attempt at getting a hitch. Saturday, April 23rd, 2022. <laughs> so I did 17 to get to Cable Gap. And then I was so tired after that, I did like a half day at Fontana Dam, so I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Quick five miles to Dipper to Newfound Gap, where we were greeted with <gasps> not one, but day. two tables of trail magic. Crossing the highway, into Newfound Gap. Hey, wizard. What you got there, wizard? How you all doing? Hey, how's it going? Good. 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 Yes. Oh, wow. What's your real name? Dipper. Dipper. Yep. What's your real name? El Salvador. El Salvador. And your name? Rick. Rick. Yep. Nice to meet you, Rick. Thanks, Thanks, for, Rick. Thanks for bringing out snacks. You want a hamburger? Yeah. yeah. A cheeseburger, a little two pack of banana muffins, a Gatorade, a Reese's, <laughs> Nutter Butter crackers, and a packet of gummies. And I was elated. The Baptist church group was giving rides into Gatlinburg, so no attempted hitch needed for Dipper and I, thankfully. We hung out at the Gap until the van arrived, and then headed into town. Feels more rugged this side of Clingman Stone. Yeah. Well, you can see the like walkway way up there. Oh wow. The pedestrian thing. 
Like way out there? Yeah, you, like you oh, see yeah. that dome and then like right on top of it you can kind of see the little oh, circular yeah. pathway. Holy crap. North Carolina, Tennessee state line. We've been, we've been straddling it for the past like three or four days. Straddling it. <laughs> <laughs> Picture time. Gatlinburg was not what I was expecting. It was like a little mini mountain Vegas. So many shops and restaurants and tourist attractions. It was quite the contrast to being in the mountains with no road crossings into civilization for the past three days. Dipper and I showered, then hit up the Walgreens to pick up a few things. Then to the local pizza place for lunch. Had a salad and a pizza along with a beer. We stopped in at the Old Smoky Moonshine Distillery and did a tasting. Then did our laundry, headed back out once more to the local dive bar to watch the basketball game. The following days after leaving Gatlinburg, I find myself not recording as often. I am having to adjust the style of my recording. It's less introspective because I have somebody else hiking with me now. I'll find myself trying to capture a tranquil nature scene, but will also be in the middle of a conversation with Dipper. So tends to go a little bit like this. The rear track that I liked and missing a degree was gonna hold me back from advancing, then I would go back, but it's never been the case. It's okay though, because I enjoy having somebody else to hike with. It's a nice now. change of pace. I could get them transferred. To so school, bear with sorry. me while I fill in the gaps in my I'm video better, footage with Entries from my journal. They may be to blank screens, they may be to pictures. Who knows? Back on trail, we hit up Charlie's Bunyan, where a nice young guy on a birthday hike gave us a little treat. We continued on down the trail, stopped again for lunch, and then later down the trail, we bumped into Rachel, now going by Ducky. I was surprised to see her as I was expecting her to be a day ahead. She said she would left me a note in one of the trail logs at a shelter, and I thought that was so sweet. I need to stop and look at those more often. Dipper and I continue on to Peck's Corner Shelter, 10.5 miles for the day. We got there early and were the only ones there for over an hour. Then Clementine arrived. Shortly after her arrival, the rest of the hikers started trickling in. I saw Boston Bill again, and we chatted a bit about trail aches and pains, and how one day your foot will hurt, and then the next it feels fine, but then your knee hurts. It's clear he's done this before. Good morning, it is Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. <laughs> I think our Monday's going better than some people's Mondays are. Probably. Ah, uh, nice to be out in the woods, hiking and things. No TPS reports to file. Nope, no memos. No meetings. No buses. No buses. And this uh, uphill's been pretty gradual, which is nice. I mean, I'm feeling it in my legs, but I'm powering through and it feels good. Dipper and I set off from Peck's Corner around 8.15 a.m. with the goal to do 13 miles to Cosby Knob Shelter. Here we see the Hidden Valley of Rivendell. We can't get in, we're not elves. <laughs> Dang it. We stopped five miles in at the Tri Corner Knob Shelter to have a break and a snack, and decided we were going to push for 20 miles today instead to avoid doing a full day in the rain tomorrow. Mostly downhill today, and we crushed the first 13 miles by 2.15 p.m. We stopped in at the Cosby Knob Shelter and took another break before pressing onward. One last climb of the day up to Mount Kammerer, then all downhill the rest of the way. Getting into stupid arguments the knees were definitely feeling it by the end of the day, but we arrived at the final shelter of the Smokies, Davenport Gap, before 6.30 p.m. Oh my God, we just did 20 miles today. That is the furthest I've ever hiked in one day. This is also the furthest I, I have hiked in one day. Oh my goodness, my body is ready to be done and we are almost to the shelter. <laughs> no. <laughs> bad job, Mayor. Bad. 
Although my body is a wonderland. I'm like, although my body is a wonderland. It did work today. Thank you, body. Good job. Going on, team. Yep. We didn't think so either, and then we were like, fuck rain. Yeah. Ducky. Made dinner and chatted with Ducky, Bean, Pat, and Dipper about the day's hike, our future hike plans, and pooping in the woods. I then wrapped up the evening chores, which included wet wiping myself down and changing my clothes as I had peed all over myself before wrapping up for the night. Tuesday, April 26th, 2022. Good morning, it is Tuesday, April 26th. Yes, the 26th, because it started on the 20th and it took me six days to make it out of the Smokies. We deposit our permits so they are not needed anymore. Here, open up the box for me. I'm gonna dump it anyways. I guess they'll know oh. we're gone. Yeah. Yep. Good way to get rid of it. Yay! Fist bump! Bonk! Boop. We are not hiking too far today. We've got probably just a couple more miles. And um, yeah, we're going to go to uh, Standing Bear and see what the deets are there. Now this is definitely the look of somebody who is ultra motivated to find some place to go pee, but while also enjoying this extremely beautiful trailside stream that is also making me want to pee more. Walk up the road a little bit. Yeah. Onto the highway. Right? God damn it, Dipper. I thought we were going this way. I told you we're not getting on the freeway. There's no gigawatts here. <laughs> We are just to get to Sandy Bear and we found ourselves a little friend. First lad preferred if the bear was sitting. Uh, are you talking about yourself? What? Hey. <laughs> Come on, kitty. Yeah, 
wanted to come up and hang out. Or not, that's okay too. Bye! Some spray in there. Could not wait to pee. Saw a pee trail side <laughs> on a log. And that's timing. I was like, I like crossed the river and was waiting for you and I was like, oh, her pants are down. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, my timing was pretty good though, uh, for the other day. Before that other kid did come. Yeah. Bunk room in there. Three and a half miles from Davenport Gap Shelter to Standing Bear Hostel and arrived just in time to get out of the rain that started around 10 a.m. Because you can inspect it, and it's like, oh, everything's wide. It's all good. If it, oh, it's all good. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Hung out at the hostel and ate a pizza. Got some awesome little treats from my parents, and video chatted with Keith and my sister Tuesday. <laughs> So I only drink for base bars, or so what's the so so, 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 so flip. Have to flip that first. I always go left. All the way. Ah! Oh! So May the odds be ever in your favor. Ah! I may never get off the bus. Is that what you're telling me? It can take a while. <laughs> I'm enjoying the journey, but some moments today really had me feeling out of place. I sat with the group while they played a drinking game, but didn't fully participate. Knowing the plan was to hike 15 miles tomorrow had me feeling like getting in bed early, especially after an early morning start. <laughs> 